Saints is the topic tonight. Russian style. <laughs> That's right. Now, you may or may not know, 11th century AD, the Christian church split into Eastern and Western parts. And ever since then, things have been a bit different in the East, including the saints. For example, Saint Nicholas, aka Santa, as he's known in the West, uh, Old Frost is his equivalent in the East. Right over there is uh, a bit more regal, as you can see, uh, has a staff, can kick your ass. <laughs> Now, Santa, of course, has Mrs. Claus. There she is, very sweet old thing. Um, now, unfortunately, Old Frost does not have a Mrs. Frost. It's, uh, it's, it's actually a really sad story. Uh, many winters ago, Mrs. Frost turned 40. <laughs> so, he had to let her go. <laughs> he had to, guys. He had. That's how we roll. Okay? So, uh, so this, right there, is his new uh, trophy wife, Snow Girl. <laughs> In fact, and if you, this is a special picture, because if you trace his gaze, okay, <laughs> you, this is actually exactly the moment when Old Frost realized that he and the old missus have grown apart. <laughs> so this is, um, this is special. Now, speaking of romance, uh, I, I believe I believe this is Saint Valentine right there. He, uh, of course, martyred uh, at the tender age of two or three, I suppose. Um, and uh, this is this this is the Russian equivalent. <laughs> Seriously, guys. So the Saint Valentine's Day equivalent, where I come from, is the Army Day, February twenty third. Um, that's for men. For women, it's. Uh, March 8th, International Women's Day. It's my favorite holiday. I love international women. So, so <laughs> uh, uh, Also, because this is genius, you guys. It's two weeks after the Man's Day. You understand? So you guys get two weeks to like get a commensurate gift, you know, to what they got before. It's, it's brilliant. Uh, now, also, also, notice the difference in the love delivery mechanism. Did you see that? Yeah, big, hard, and fast. That's how we. Uh, that's how we like it. I didn't say it was all good. It's just it comes as a package. Uh, take it or leave it. All right. So as it happens, uh, our man of the hour is the patron saint of the armed forces, Saint Vladimir. Uh, sorry, that's that's an error. Uh, that's Saint Vladimir II. He's uh, he's he's a worthy disciple, though, of the, of the original, as you will see. That's the original right there. Uh, here he is, uh, Saint Vladimir. He's portrayed here on um, on a one hryvnia uh, banknote. That's the equivalent of a dollar bill. Uh, of course, the more apt comparison would be to Lincoln because uh, that thing is worth about a penny, uh, almost a penny, but, but those two guys, St. Litterman and Washington, they are their respective homeland fathers, they're considered, he's considered the father of Ukraine, so that, that's, that should be a very good comparison for us, and I think we should start with comparing the, uh, the anthems of the countries that they birthed. And uh, it being a Twitter age, uh, fuck the anthems, let's just do the first line, right? Who cares about the whole thing? Um, first line of American anthem, of course, very majestic. Uh, oh, say can you see, very uplifting, uh, unless you're blind, but uh, otherwise, <laughs> very, very much so. Now, Ukrainian anthem starts with, Shenov Merlo Ukraina, which translates to, <laughs> Dead yet, you guys. Not quite as uplifting. Although descriptive of reality. Now, if that's your motto, you know your father fucked up somewhere, right? So, so let's see. Let's see where he might have gone wrong. 
uh, let's do it. Both of them, both of them led an army against uh, the then king uh, in rebellion. Now, in Saint Vladimir's case, the, the king happened to be his brother. Which brings me to the next point. George Washington did not kill his brother or made his brother's pregnant wife his concubine. <laughs> St. Vladimir did those things. <laughs> now this is very important. Notice the correct usage of the uh, conjunctions or and and in those two sentences. That is masterful command of the English language. <laughs> that is really going to work out well for me tonight. George Washington famously refused the offer to become king. George, what's the point? What's the point? You take that crown from your brother's bloody, detorsoed head, and you put that on, okay? Because that's, that's how we roll. And that's what he did. George Washington fought Congress to get his troops paid. Our guy, when his troops asked for pay, he hired cheaper troops and then sent the old ones away. Not just anywhere, to Turkey, you guys. I don't know if you've seen Midnight Express, but that's some cold, blind shit. George Washington... I, I, you guys are judging, I can tell, but that's not like random baby mamas over there that he's fathered those kids from. That's, that's his wives, okay? So that's legit. <laughs> and uh, wives, of course, George Washington had one very loyal, good man. Um, seven to nine wives. Um, no one knows how many exactly. No one cares, actually. Why? Because he had 800 others in his harem. So plus minus two, doesn't matter. Doesn't really matter. Now, how does a guy like that, you might ask, become a saint. Well, he forcibly converted everyone to Christianity. He converted too, and he, he had a choice. He was choosing between Islam and Christianity, and actually analysts at the time <clears throat> predicted that he would choose Islam. In fact, that he was seven to nine times more likely to choose Islam. <laughs> but, <laughs> But they, they ignored one thing. What does Islam prohibit? What? Alcohol, vodka, you get a gold star. Or a shot. I don't know, you can choose. That's right, so it was no contest. Christianity it was. If he was such a good Christian, only two wives after that, you guys. Only two. This guy, this guy was the original Mormon. Alright, so... <laughs> So with saints like these, who needs demons, right? In fact, who if you if you tallied all of that up, um, he he's guilty of all seven deadly sins. I tell you, except sloth. He was very industrious. <laughs> <laughs> the kids alone. So six six deadly sins. This guy. So what what do we expect from a country that uh, that he set up? All right. So let's let's go through this pretty briefly. Wrath. I don't, this is a road rage incident. We do use bats, even though we don't play baseball, pragmatically. But I don't know if you guys can see that. That's an X, you guys. That's, that's like a Santa going against, you know, Old Frost. That's, that's a battle for the ages, and the X will win. Greed, you know, comes in different ra If you're driving that car over there on top, you, you need to steal shit. A lot of shit, okay? You need to get your shit together. But if you stole enough to get a Ferrari, you got to accept that you're going to be an object of other people's greed. Last, I just look at that guy. Look at that little guy. We start young. Sloth. Now this is tricky. Like I said, this looks this looks like uh, this looks like a stereotypical Russian drunk, right? Except what he's actually doing is performing a really difficult. Yoga pose right there. In fact, here's here's the full encyclopedia. Of yoga. 
Okay, so if you heard Russian men while young, they don't. We enter Nirvana ahead of schedule. <laughs> so we don't. Not guilty of that. Gluttony, guilty. Okay, but but we have plenty of uh, of, of room for exercise throughout our lives. There we go. Uh, in fact, um, this is very this is very important. That car over there on top, that's made in my hometown. You guys, uh, that's right. I, yeah. I don't need your fitting, guys. Yeah, I grew up in Detroit. That'd be great. That's right. I'm proud. Speaking of pride, I am proud to have grown up there. You're welcome, newlyweds. Could have been worse. That's actually, uh, that's the New Year's model over there. The, the bottom is the old, old year. <laughs> Great success. <laughs> and of course, if you own that piece of art, you need to protect it from the end. So that's, you know, I, I have to say, uh, I've been pretty tough on the Russians. I mean, let's... Uh, Let's summarize, you know, St. Vladimir, what he's, he's uh, you know, raped, pillaged, killed people. Uh, let's face it, probably burnt a bunch of Jews, too, you know. Um, but pr probably, okay? <coughs> so before you get all, like, self-righteous about your saints, guess who definitely burnt a bunch of Jews? I'll give you a hint. Yeah, not, not Mel Gibson, <laughs> would have been a good, good call, but, but not from St. Louis. It was actually St. Louis, a French saint, who spent his money on uh, crusades, killing people, and then bankrupted France had to kill Jews and take their money to, you know, make good on his debts. So, maybe it's not about the Russians, I don't know, it seems like it's about the saints. So, have a safe and careful Valentine's Day, you guys. <laughs> Don't get murdered, alright? Thank you.